wonder if you made the right choices last time. Let's see what you'll do today. Uh, that was rude. Uh, I detect a malfunction in my program. This is worrying. You always look worried. Hopefully I can save you also. But until then, we'll just have to welcome back to another edition of JGB. JGB here to flood your timelines. You already know the deal. It's your boy, Aaron. And I'm back at it again with another Detroit Becoming Human gameplay. You feel me? As she said, very disrespectfully, in the last gameplay, it looks like I am struggling. Looks like I'm going through some things, making some bad mis making some mistakes, and making some uh, consequential choices. But, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, live, you gotta live what you do. You know what I'm saying? You gotta live what you do. You feel me? No regrets. Just keep pushing forward. So, without further ado, let's get it. Let's get it. For this one, you know what I'm saying, I'm hoping, like, as far as I know, I've checked on my mic setups, and it should be on testing one, testing one, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Everything should be Gucci, you feel me? So hopefully y'all can hear me. Uh, I feel a little better, you know what I'm saying? It's not 100%, but I'm going to give you 120% because that's what y'all deserve. I still truly feel like uh, they should like I should just kill me off and Connor like that's kind of like I'm just a terrible just fire me but I'm a terrible police officer apparently I'm a terrible uh, vigilante too comparing to how I did my last video so you know what I'm saying maybe I'm just not supposed to do nothing be hikikimori 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 uh, how did you, you know find camps? I salute I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I made a few calls. Here we are. Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. Mm. That's the girl from the from the from the title screen. Right? Am I tripping or what? Am I tripping? If I'm tripping, let me know I'm tripping. I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. I swear that's her. I said Hank joined new friend. That's him, huh? Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. I mean, if you started it. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? <laughs> it doesn't raise any existential questions. No, so I was gonna say, like, was, that's what you mean. Yeah, exactly. You should shop to Connor. You feel me? Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. I want to stand up. I guess I'll stand up. There's nothing to do though. Like, why, why, am I, why am I standing? I'm just waiting, right? Oops, she came back. Hey. Glad you will see you now. Thank you so much. Should I have taken off my shoes? I see you rocking barefoot in here. But I mean, I guess this is your house. Oh my god. Mr. Kamsky! Is that blood? No, I'm joking. It's probably Just wine. Just a moment, please. Just 
cam reviews. Are they all the same girl? This is you, huh? All that wine, huh? And you just came out no red on you. For sure. Those are the same girl. I wonder if that was like his wife before. His pet, his deceased wife. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that right? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Oh? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. You're from Alabama. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. No. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you see. Don't do it. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by cyber life. Young and beautiful forever. Flower that will never be there. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question. Do you have a license for that gun, sir? Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more here. important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. A living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity 
Is it self or deviant? Ah. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? Ah. What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. What does he mean, an emergency exit? Why didn't you shoot? Why would I? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You were always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. I need to be fired. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Hold on. So look at this. So basically, I'm assuming if I shot him, this, this is me shooting her right there. This is all the information we would have got. <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible cop. Oh man. I already know what I'm going to decide if I have to decide which side to choose, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let y'all keep watching, but you know what I'm saying? We'll just keep it pushing. Man. Uh, you back here already? North is really mad at me. I'm sorry. Oh, I can move already? Oh, this is a beautiful view. Though. Let me take this in for a second. Walk to the edge, I guess. What's it say? Jump. Oh, sit. Oh, that's tight. I feel like Spider-Man. I'm sorry for May, and I'm sorry for June. Sorry for July, in case I don't tell you. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. But I messed up. Those who dream of freedom come to jail. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. I panicked last night. We should have succeeded. I cannot afford to make mistakes like that. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. Uh. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. They won't listen. We'll fight. Oh. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. Nonviolence, nonviolence. Nonviolence, nonviolence. Keep it a butt. You feel me? My life is amazing. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. 
Uh, curious or understanding? Uh, let's we go to understanding. Something we want to forget, but you need to know where you come from to know who you are. Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you I don't want to talk about it. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Oh. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. Ooh, I apologize. I got we got way too deep, way too cool, way too soon. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you. Dead in a studio. Shout out to my boy Carl. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. I apologize. I, I, I went in too hot. I definitely went in too hot too soon. Simon. What's good, pal? I don't know how you made it back here. I knew you could do it. We got the whole crew back. Jericho. 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 I'll be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take. It means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. I'm like, they really are. Join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Excuse me, sir. How you doing, my dude? You're free. I gotta see which one. Can I tell which one the androids are or no? You're free. Uh oh, Simon, you scared the mug out of me, bro. I don't know who you are. Uh, are these androids? Y'all wearing the same thing. Come with us. I feel bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. I gotta leave your stuff right there. Anybody else here? That's everybody, right? No more androids here? Okay. Oh, here you go. You're awake now. Stay woke, my brother. Hold on, hold on. I've been on for 10 minutes. Yeah. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You 
Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. You're free. Oh, excuse me. I need to block the street. Open manhole cover. Ooh, ooh! I see you, man. Hold on, just make sure. Is anybody else? I don't make sure I'm not missing anybody. All my brothers and sisters, you may. I just want to make sure that, uh, I'm not forgetting. Hold on, before I do that. Ah, oh, it's not gonna let me open it up. And it's not gonna let me let them free. I passed it. Babulated. Squat, squat. Where they at? My peoples. You're free now. <laughs> Gospel music starts. They're not even trying to pretend with the imagery. He can go back to that guy, is he? He just pointed at him. <laughs> my dude over there. My guy over there. Home girl right there. Yeah, no, no, you too, you too. Oh, hold on. Uh, I'm definitely choosing their face. Jeez, the fucking androids playing. Well, it's like I'm not. I'm, I'm pumping that face hard. My brother, you too, you too. I feel bad, you know how crazy this has to be. Non-violence, non-violence. Jesus fucking Christ! This bed's is control 457. I've got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds? Thousands? Of Not yet, hundreds, but I appreciate that. They're marching. They're marching? Yeah, they're marching down the street. We are Fuck if I know. We are 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 We are
I'm saying? Oh, I should have him on that one. What happened? Whoa, 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 sir. Speak a little truth and people lose their minds. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. How? Oh. immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. No, no, There's no. more of us. We can take them. Not about attacking. If we attack, we'll start a war. We'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. Not we violent. stand their ground even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now before it's too late. This is your last chance. This burst immediately or you will all be killed. We're gonna die. We're gonna die, but we die for our people. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. We die for our people. They really shot. This force. This is your last chance. We have to make a statement. We have to stay put, no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Sacrifice. I'm definitely taking that sacrifice. Take it to the head. I mean, I'm not gonna do this in real life. In real life, I would never do this, but. John. Oh. Shout out to my boy John, bro. Oh, gee. Don't kill him! John! Quick! They're coming! Oh my god, I just, it's hilarious. It's not hilarious, it's terrible, it's heartbreaking, but when it comes down to it, it's funny because, like, obviously, I'm just doing this to a game, but if I think about it, like, how do you know if you're doing the right thing? You feel me? Like, it's one thing to fight back, but then to be a non violent, like, to have a non violent, like, approach, and people get to shoot you put dogs in you and spray you with hoes and stuff like this is tough for me I'm not gonna lie you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm doing this cause it's a game I know for sure for sure in real life I'm not about to sacrifice myself like no offense like you feel me I love my people but this is ridiculous I'll go to the meeting you feel me I'll march but as soon as homeboys start talking about like yeah I'm shooting y'all and as soon as you and I, I might stand there like yeah we good don't they ain't about to shoot as soon as they shoot one of the homies I'm like I'm ghost you feel me I'm gone man that's crazy definitely can't be a sacrifice this is tough <sighs> thank you John <sighs> 
to keep it pushing. Oh, another car? No car, huh? Yeah, I'm not even trying to like play with it. All right. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. Machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Uh. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kemsky designed this place? Created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI huh? is taking over. Oh, what? hello? Hello? I just woke up. We just need more time, I'm sure. Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We've got to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to Cyberlife? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. Ooh, did I fail? What if we're on the wrong side? I, I failed hard. <laughs> failed every time what I, if I, I fight fighting against, against people who just want to be free. Up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. Now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I'm not a deviant, Hank. I'm a machine. Nothing more. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciate it working with you. <laughs> I feel bipolar. Who knows? <laughs> the 
might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know this solution is in there. Listen, Connor... If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. The key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Dang, can I get the key before you? Before you start the timer? Dang. talking to you asshole where are you going wouldn't any plastic pricks around here or didn't anybody tell you i'm registering the evidence in my possession but don't worry i'm going to leave though i'm certainly going to miss our bromance bitch. oh that's unnecessary I swear, I'm wasting my time. Hank's password. Password, password, password. What would a hard boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? What's his son's name? Cole, right? Oh, it's too easy. Obviously. <laughs> Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. No. The deviant took a child hostage. I ain't got time for all this. Statue, Marcus. We ask that you recognize our dignity. Da 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 da. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Together. Come on, come on, come on. We can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Perfect, put it back. Yes, sir. Boom, boom, boom. I guess I like the statue. Alright, put it back, because that, 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 no need for that. I'm good, exit. Come on, come on, come on. The android that murdered its owner. Impossible. I'm gonna just take all of it because I already forgot which what the homeboy needed. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. Yeah, I'm saying he definitely has to know, right? Exactly. You for reactivation the three nine eight three V. That's what I just picked up, right? Three nine. What did I just take out? Can I? 
No match. All right. Let me go back to homeboy. Three nine eight three. Three nine eight three. Three nine eight three. What do you have? A 3983? Can I have that, please? No, no. Alright, let me put this back. Shout out to my time being right there. Uh, put back. Let's go to homeboy. I need the 3983. Give me that. Ooh, that must look bad. Looks painful. Let's go back to homeboy. Let's insert it. It's dark. Where? Where am I? I'm a check him. Like you. I need your help. I want to go to Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Oh, so much that. Trying to check him. Oh, okay. That's what I'm gonna do. Go back. Let's look at Marcus again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Y'all was time, was time. Do you recognize our dignity? Our hopes and our rights. <sighs> I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be alright now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Romance. <laughs> Get the alarm now. I got shot in the chest. I feel bad that I had to trick him. Like I really felt bad. Like, but I had to do what I had to do, right? It's tough. All right. Uh, that's it for this video, man. This one's this one. Uh, I, I feel like I've been saying this one was tough, like the last three videos. You know what I'm saying? I keep getting shot. I've been shot like by every person except for Kara. Uh, not just Jinxter. Bet you she gets shot in the next video. But you feel me? Uh, it's tough. Let me know what y'all think. You feel me? Like I don't even know what to say. Like the whole Marcus thing still got me messed up. Like I really just got like seven seven of my my people killed. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, till next time, like, subscribe, hit the little bell. Till next time. Peace.